calling Confederate Charlie. I was looking at your website. Uh, oh, which website is that? Uh, who is this? I... My name is John. But uh, I, I was checking out your website and I, I'm wanting to become a member of your new Confederate Army. Okay. okay. Hold on. Okay. John, uh, do you know what time it is? Oh, I'm sorry. It's uh, 11 No, 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 that's okay. I've just never had anyone call me except my work call me at 12.30 in the morning. <laughs> Oh, it's... Oh. Well, well I'm, hey, I'm hey, here in California. Like I'm a, okay, well, I'm like you. I'm like you. I'm a night person, okay? When something, you know, something is important, I want I want to get a hold of the person right now. So don't worry about it. I'm not angry. I'm just a little star over, that's all. <laughs> so anyway, okay, you want to join my, my Confederate arm? Yeah. Uh, I'm here on the West Coast in California. And there's Mexico. Oh, you're on the left coast, huh? You're on the left coast, huh? West coast. Yeah, that, that, that's, a little, that's a little jump, John. Don't worry about it. I, I used to live in California. I used to live in California. I lived, I lived, I lived over there by San Diego for years. Loved it. But anyway, okay. Here's what you do. Uh, of course, you know my name. I'm, uh, I'm uh, Charles Goodson. I'm the founder and commanding general right, of I, I, uh, the Army. Now, Here's what you need to do. If you're going to do this to you, are you are you capable? Uh, do you have like a printer? Right now, that's how we're going to help you. Do. do you have a printer? Uh, not at the moment. Okay. Here's what you need. Then that's okay. What you do is copy all of the copy everything. You, you can either do it one of two ways. You can go to like your local library and print it out. Okay. Or to your, uh, or you can write it out exactly as you see it and send it in to me. Okay, and then as we, as you get a, co uh, uh, as you get a, co uh, a printer, you can send me the printed version and all that. You oh. Jump start the list. So, do, do I have to give you genealogy or? No, what no, you know, that's, the, that's the thing. Here's the, now, here's the thing. Let's go over the enlistment, okay? The enlistment uh, document, okay? Okay, it's an I, then you put your name down, do hereby request to be formally enlisted in the new Confederate Army. I acknowledge that as a member of this Army, I will be held accountable for my actions at all times. I further acknowledge that this Army is not a martial army. In other words, we're not going to be taking up arms. Okay, I, don't know, I, just, I, I have a big problem with that. Now, we're not a militia. Okay, that's the first thing I want you to know. We're not a militia. We are an army. But we're a political army. We're going to use the ideas uh, of politics, okay? In other words, consider us sort of uh, like a political party, if you will, without actually being a political party, okay? Uh, I understand that the Confederate States of America is an occupied country. Its general government, along with its member states' government, uh, overthrown and subjugated, and that as a southerner, I am I am subject to the laws of the uh, occupier. Now that's the big one. Until you know such times, we are under the occupier's law. Okay, you will not if there is any any law. If you break the law, I mean, you know, other than a minor traffic violation, you know, like a speeding ticket or a parking ticket. Okay. Well, I don't uh, drive. So. Okay, well that's cool. But you know, things like that, the minor stuff, the really minor stuff. Okay, if you do, we do uh, hold it. We do hold a right, and I've already, I've already uh, cleared this with the, uh, with uh, my uh, vice commander, uh, Lieutenant General Stratton. Um, and uh, what I have done is, uh, you will be more or less court martialed by us. Okay. And then return, then released to the authorities. If it's a ma if it's a major crime, okay, like if you if a person mur gets murdered and they find out that you did it, we hold an investigation, and if it is, we're going to court martial you ourselves, and then we're going to turn you over to the. You'll get it twice, okay? Oh wow! That will. 
That's where we disband you. In other words, we we strip you of all rank and membership in the army. And then we just hand you over to the authority. Are you affiliated with the authorities then? No, we are not. Like nothing like okay. the attorney general or anything like that? No. no, we are not. No, we are not. Okay, we are not yet yeah, we are not we are not affiliated with any federal government or any party or whatever. But Okay, like I said, we are still under occupation, and therefore we are subject to the occupier's law. Okay, to the law. We are subject to it, whether we like it or not. Okay? Now, to continue, I will at all times adhere to the laws of the occupying powers until liberation of my country. And then the second part, I, the undersigned, understand that as a member of the new Confederate Army, I am tasked with the liberation of the Confederate States of America. This is my goal and the goal of this army. Liberate the CSA through all peaceful and honorable means. I, the undersigned, understand that as a member of the new Confederate Army, it will be my duty to protect and defend the monuments and symbols of my country, to hold those symbols and monuments dear to me, to treat them with reverence and honor, and to, and to demand others to do so. I, the undersigned, will, uh, undersigned, will at all times act as a southern gentleman and gentle lady. Uh, treating all with courtesy and respect. And this is the oath of enlistment, John. I, the other side, you swear or affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the Confederate States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. I swear and affirm that I will obey the orders of the officers appointed over me, and when liberation occurs, I will obey the orders of the President of the Confederate States of America. So help me God. Now, what it does is after that is you just put your name, street address, city, and state, and then your telephone number, your age. For the enlistment date, you want to put down the the, the date you sent it in. Okay. If you have prior mil if you want to if you want prior mil if you have a prior military service, indicate that. Indicate the branch and the rank and what you did while you were in the military. Okay. Uh, but also know this, uh, just because you were not in the military does not disqualify you from joining this army. Yeah, I've, I've never right. been in the military. I, I was actually okay. not allowed that's to join that's after not. receiving felonies. Uh, it's okay, but the, you know, the thing is, we recognize certain, well, okay, what kind of felonies did you have? Uh, drug felonies. Crack cocaine, okay. actually. Well, were they, like, really violent? Were people that got killed? No, no, nobody got killed. I was just selling crack. Oh, then they were nonviolent. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a violent person. Okay, well, then guess what? Uh, once you do that, send it off to me. I will give you a call. I'd like you to know that you have been formally inducted into the Confederate Army. Okay. okay. Now, here's another thing, John, that you need to work, that you need to understand, okay? Okay. It's going to be... That will come at that that will that, that will come at you and say that you're a racist because you adhere to the Confederate uh, creed. I well, I, I haven't that. joined yet. <laughs> well, no, I understand that. I understand that. But once you do, you're going to be going to a a, a, a part a, a sort of like a training, okay? And all it is is an education, okay? We're we're going to send you material at no cost to yourself, okay? You'll get it. And it's just it's just learning material, okay? Talking points, if you will. And you're going to learn everything that you were not taught in school, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, go ahead and do that. And, uh, all right, you know, if you have to, put it, uh, you know, copy it. Or if you, or like, come on, don't do it done. Come on, go to the library, okay? Uh, and, and print out uh, the enlistment papers. Just and, have them printed out. And send and it to 701 West 3rd. Is that the the right address? That is whatever the yes. You do that. You send it to the uh, to the address uh, to the address. Okay. Uh, that's where we that's where we get our mail. Okay. So yeah, 701 West 3rd Street, uh, number 237, Winslow, Arizona 86047. Okay. So you guys have a, an office building. Wow. Well, actually, no, it isn't an office building just yet. We're working on that. If you've ever been to Winslow, we don't have a lot of office buildings. 
no, I uh, I'm working on I'm working yes, yeah, right now I'm working out of my home. Okay. Uh because my this is still a new army. I mean I this army isn't even uh two months old. Oh wow. Okay. And we've already got well Thank over you. a thousand members. Okay. We've already got a thousand members and it's not even two months old. All right. So uh, right now, what we're doing is we're get, we're working on uh, on uh, getting a small office in one of the uh, many <laughs> old buildings that are still in operation here in Winslow. <laughs> and if you've ever been to Winslow, you'll understand what I, you would understand what I'm saying. Uh, so go ahead and do that. Send it to the address. Uh, address it to me, uh, Charles, General Charles Goodson. And we get going. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. All right. What? You have a good evening. You too. Bye bye.